Good morning Year 2 and welcome to our last week on instructions. So today we are going to be looking at adding a bit more extra detail. So by the end of the lesson we're going to have used some conjunctions, we're going to have used adverbs and we're going to adapt and improve our own instructions from last week. So let's find out a little bit more about what that means. So let's just take some time to remind ourselves about what we did last week. What I want you to do is think about these questions and pause the video while you have some thinking time. So what are the six main features of instructions that we learned about at the very beginning of last week? And then have a look through your writing from Thursday. How could we add some extra details to make our commands even clearer? So last week we wrote some really simple command sentences. Do any of them need a bit more information so someone else would find them easy to understand? And what could that be? So pause the video and have a think about my questions. So hopefully by now you've got some ideas of what we could do to make our writing even better. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at last week's work and add extra. I'm not asking you to write them again or write some new ones. We're just thinking about what details could we add in addition to what we've already got. We want to make our instructions really clear. So that if someone else wanted to make a sweet potato teddy, they would know exactly what to do. So we learned about adverbs two weeks ago and we've talked about conjunctions quite a lot. So you're going to need to use some of those in your sentences to make them a little bit longer. And you might want to also add some extra command sentences. And you need to look at each sentence you wrote really carefully and think, does that one actually need any more detail? Or is that clear enough as it is? Because part of editing, sometimes you just leave it alone. Sometimes you do need to add more, but sometimes what we've already got is perfect. So on the next slide, I'm going to show you my instructions from last week and how I could add extra things to make them clearer for someone who's reading them. So here we have my instructions from last week. These are exactly the same. I've not done anything to them. I've got my pictures. I've got my simple command sentences that I wrote and all started with an imperative verb. So I think that some of these I could just leave as they are. Glue on the mask, belt and cape. I could just leave that as it is. That I think that could be enough information with the photograph. But I'm going to show you how I could add more information to each sentence, just so you've got an idea of what to do. So for step number one, so far, I've just put pin on the template. So I was having to think about it. How could I add more information for that? Now, I remembered that pins are quite sharp. And if you've never used pins before, somebody might need to know that. So I decided to put pin on the template, leave that as it is. Remember, pins are sharp. So, using a conjunction, be careful. Just a little reminder there so that people know pins are sharp. So for the next sentence, number two, cut out the body, cut out the mask, belt and cape. Now, that's all right, but I think I could rewrite that with a bit more information to make it a bit clearer. So I've changed that. Now, if I was at school, I would cross this out with a ruler, but because I'm on the computer, I can't really do that. So I've just rewritten it underneath and you'll notice that I'm doing it in a different colour. So I know what are my new bits. So for number two, I'm going to change it to carefully put in an adverb in carefully cut out the body from brown felt, snip the mask and belt using black felt and the cape from the red felt. So you'll see that I've added in the colours of the felt to give a bit more detail. And I've also because I've used the word cut already, I've decided to swap that to snip. So there was nothing wrong with what I did last week, but I just thought actually I could put a bit more in to make it more helpful. And the last one, number three, glue on the mask, belt and cape. You could just leave that as it is. But just to show you a bit more, I've rewritten it and put number three, when you have cut out the small shapes, glue or sew them to the body shape. So I've used a conjunction when to introduce it. It's still bossy, glue or sew them to the body shape. I've just added a bit more information. You'll see I haven't put a number one next to where I've put remember pins are sharp so be careful. That's because that is adding extra onto the first step where I've already got my number one. Steps two and three I've rewritten them to change them. So some other things that you might want to do, some other things that you could include for example I have got, you could use the word gently. 
to describe how to do it. You could put things like you might, you might want to say, you might want to ask an adult to help you with this part. You could use the word neatly, particularly when you're gluing or when you're sewing, you could use the adverb neatly in there. You could tell people not to forget things. Don't forget to sew up the bottom or something like that. Don't forget to thread the needle. Make sure, that's another good one that you can introduce with a command sentence. Make sure you use a sharp needle. And then try, you could say, try asking an adult to help you or try using googly eyes. They're all different suggestions of how you could make your writing more interesting. You don't have to use those, you might have thought of your own. So hopefully now you've got some ideas of how you could improve your work. So that is your task for today. You're going to look through your instructions from Thursday and you're going to edit them to add extra details. You can use conjunctions, adverbs and extra command sentences like I did in the examples on the last slide. Remember though that sometimes your instruction might just be perfect already. You don't have to add something to every sentence but just choose really carefully where you think those extra details are needed. If you can, use a different colour like I did. I use pink like we would do at school, just so that your editing stands out. If you don't have another colour pen, don't worry, just use what you were using before. But if you do, it might be helpful to do it in a different colour. And once you've had a go at improving your instructions, you can send Mrs Lee and me a picture to the email address on the slide. So I hope you enjoy improving your instructions and I'm looking forward to seeing what extra bossy bits you can put in.